Hey everybody and welcome to part 4 of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Let's resume our game. And I'm done this time. Uh, we didn't get much done last episode other than some treasure seeking. Once again, this is like a month later in recording. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire has been out for approximately a week or so. And apparently we're back here. I don't think we got the waypoint to the next area yet. Of course we didn't. So we gotta go all the way back. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife. Well, let's see if we have anything to sell first of all. Yeah, we have lots to sell. So we can get some money here. We will need it. We can do some crafting and stuff later on. But we can sell all this trash here. Uh for some cash. You kind of have to sli slightly choose between cash and between crafting because there's also a jewel crafter down there. We do not have any access to gems yet, so we can't do that. And here we have to go to the Weeping Hollow, so we have to find the entrance to the cemetery of the Forsaken. And we just blew away the way those risen, I don't know, those risen or rabbits dead. Okay, the Raven is dead, and we're just like one-shotting everything. Oh, yeah, so beginning enemies are back again. Figures. Figures, figures, figures. So, let's just kill some guys with my awesome warping orb attack. I, I don't know. Got a, some scavengers here trying to prevent me from getting into my chest. Nizon the Disorder. Okay, you have a full body unlike your minions. Okay, buddy, your your master's going to die here in a bit, so you must just go too. Are you eating the health potion in that attack? I clearly missed him, man. That sucks. Uh, we got boots of the lion, so are those better than ours? Yeah, we got picked up rare boots in the last episode. It's funny how we went from having like no boots to rare boots. At least it's better than having none at all. Ah, oh, these grotesques and their insides. I hate these worms. The worms really aren't good experience. So it's not like you get much from them. They're just more irritating to fight than anything. Because you defeat an enemy and the next thing you know, there's another enemy that comes right outside of them. So we did complete like the, the dungeon of this area in the last episode, so we shouldn't have to do that again. You guys should already know that we did it. I think Weeping Hollow, though, does have a waypoint. So we should look for the waypoint. And I see that you guys are actually enjoying the length of the episodes. None of them have been over 20 minutes. I think the highest has been 15 or 16 minutes so far. There's only been three episodes. I don't upload this one as much as Yu-Gi-Oh! But I think I'm going to upload this one more than Wario, because it seems to be more popular. Wario just isn't isn't cutting it. it. Almost feels like a waste to even record that because you take so much time and effort to go through it and it gets zero views while Diablo and Yu-Gi-Oh freaking skyrocket compared to it. So I'm just gonna go with what's more popular. Yes there'll still be Wario uploads so don't worry and there's the there's a treasure goblin. My phone just vibrated. I don't think it's anything important so when he runs away he starts to lose money. And he can get away on you, so be careful about that. Ah, it's the only the only problem is the enemies that like to follow him. And hang on a second, why is my phone vibrating like crazy? Apparently it's a new text message. Oh, which is just a hey, okay, whatever. So we got these boots, sucky, that weapon, that's identical to what we have. And I thought that was the waypoint at first, but apparently not. It was just a treasure goblin portal. Get that just to destroy. Oh, do we actually have the blacksmith now? I think we do. I I don't know if we do, or if we get him after. I didn't actually check. So I don't know if we have to get Leoric's crown first. I think we actually have to. I don't think we have him yet. I've never actually played this game really seriously. I just played it for fun. I did beat the game. I didn't beat the Reaper of Souls expansion, so that's all new to me. So you guys will experience it with me. But, yeah, I just wish freaking money was this easy to get on World of Warcraft. 
Eat this pile of zombies. And yet torsos. You guys really think you can stop me? See you guys, did you guys notice that the map needs to be, you know, filled back in? Yeah, remember how I said that that's how it was going to be? Okay, these corpse worms are coming back for revenge. I don't think that item we picked up is any better than what we have. It's better in toughness, but ours is rare though, so ours technically does have better stats, it's just toughness is a little better. What happened to this grave? It's full of zombies, man, what do you think? It's full of these guys with corpse worms, and we got boots of the hawk. Apparently we can't open whatever that is. Still not better. Why do we keep getting boots all of a sudden? We go throughout like seven levels of the game, like character levels, and we get no boots. Next thing you know, we get everything that has to deal with boots. Log, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's the entrance. So I don't think we missed anything this time. Main goal is to actually just look for the next waypoint, wherever it is. I don't know if we can check where the waypoint is, like the next one. Or if it's just like... We have to go and figure out what area it is next. It's the new Diablo 2, it actually told you which ones there were. So you can at least go back and look. At least we're almost up another level. We're almost level 8. Which is pretty nice. I'll probably end up recording a few episodes of this today just because I do have the time. I beat the World of Warcraft and Warlords of Jamar Central with my Hunter, just doing dailies. I beat Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, just currently um, training my Pokemon for a competitive play starting in 2015, which I know is like forever away. In the Eastern Kingdom of Kazakhstan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these crusaders went east on a very different mission. Okay, so we got some backstory on crusaders, which is actually the newest character that they added in uh, Reaper Souls. Should be a Diablo 3 expansion next year. Because there's supposed to be two more expansions coming out. I don't know, because you fight with Diablo here, and then you deal with the Angel of Death in the, next ex in the second expansion. So, who's going to be in part three and four? There is an achievement, though, for killing the graves. So, yes, there is something for killing graves. The de grave defiler. Oh, great. Lots of these chub chubs over here lately. And they're so fat. Die, fatso! Got an exquisite essence. Who do we have over here? Wretching Cadaver. So we have one of those summoning zombies that are a little more powerful. You're not allowed summoning more. Can someone power level me to 50 and return on power level back? Eh, who wants that done, man? Who wants to cheat? I'm just freaking playing the game for you guys. Yeah, I know it's a little hard to read because the screen, there's so much on the screen at one time though, unlike Diablo 2, that it's kind of hard to go through. And what do we pick up? Even worse boots than normal. I didn't mean to actually attack them. Eh, good thing you guys are hungry corpses now. So we're getting into different zombies all of a sudden. Ah, so many zombies, man. Stop coming up out of the grave. Really? Are you serious? Then they turn into a torso. Shoot! Ah! Thousand zombies, man! Did you see that coming, did you? No, they did not. Wait a minute, I said that in like the last video. I'm not repeating myself again. There we go, level 8. And we got something. We got. A new active skill called Diamond Skin. Let's check that out. Uh, transform your skin to Diamond Temporary Absorbing Damage. Okay. Why couldn't I accept that? Oh, because it was in combat. 
So let's see what it looks like. That is absolutely sick. I don't think it's really going to be that useful of an ability. But it is still sweet. It at least looks good. That's all that matters, right? Is that it looks good? I don't actually think there is a waypoint here. So I guess we'll just go to the graveyard. Then technically speaking, this would be the first outside area. Oh, it looks like there's something up there. We didn't actually run into that bonus dungeon that we did. So maybe that's coming up soon too. Get out of here, hungry corpses. You're not allowed crawling up out of the pits. Why are there so many zombies around here? I know it's a graveyard, but why are they all zombies? I thought Diablo was like a demon. Not a necromancer. There's gotta be fouler work here. I kill one and it just comes back. What the heck is this? Aye, aye, aye. No way, buddy. Okay, seriously, you live that too. Now you're just a torso. Well, of course you are. Ugh, torsos. There we go, that's some of them down. Got some torsos after us. Don't wanna deal with those guys. So how are you guys all doing? I'm doing great. Um really uh planning on going to school in September to college to do some uh media. Yeah, you know, work in the technology industry deal with some of that stuff. So I hope you guys really do enjoy that. Ah, Cemetery of the Forsaken is where our waypoint is. So actually, let's go back to Nutrition for a minute. And let's see. Ah, oh, we do have uh, Hedrigdi Craft. So let's see here. Salvage, what we can do is we can actually salvage all this. See, and then we can actually go to craft the bow or the broadsword, which is actually better than what we have, but we don't have the iridescent tears. We can make hide breaches, which are better. Uh, that's weaker. These are definitely better. And that's all we can make for that. We can't salvage. And, uh, yeah, see, I'm already blacksmith rank 10 exalted. So, I, I've already maxed out this because it transfers over from your other characters. So we do have better pants now. And we do have better bracers. So what we can do is now we can actually go to the salvage option. Salvage those. And I think that does it for this video. I know it was kind of just a repeat of what we did. But we did get to the new area, and now we can do it in the next episode. So I hope you guys all enjoy this episode. Remember to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And stay tuned for some more Diablo 3 coming soon.